Hi, welcome back to our channel Shah Computer Education Center. In this tutorial, we will learn how to create a real-time searchable drop-down list. So let's see how it works. In this sheet, you can see a list of designations. So we will search this designation within this combo box. Here we can see all the list are given here. So if we want to search here in real time like Google or any other websites, so type here like this way A, D, M, you can see it is automatically shortening the list. So I, N, T, R, A, like this, you can administration, you can short this like this way. And then if you type C, H, I, E, F, executive, E, then if you type S E C U in this way you can search a list in real time. So now we will learn how to create this drop down list. In this sheet we have different designation names. Now we will create a searchable drop down list with the help of this list. So first we will try to search any text within this range. So first in this cell type type here any value suppose ma we'll search ma within this text so here i will use equal to search find text this one that is cell d2 and press f4 to lock it comma within text is this range then bracket close enter so we got error value because in this range we do not have ma if we now drag we can see in this range we have MA in 7th position and this MA in 6th position. In this way, if a cell range contain this value, then it will return a number that is the position of this text in the text string. So I will drag till the end that we will get all the numbers if the text string has that value. So to convert this error value to false and this numbers to true we can use is number function. So is number bracket close enter we got false because this is error value. So this is also error value and these two are numbers so it will give true. In this way all the error value will return false and all the numbers will return true. Now we have to convert this true to 1 and false to 0. For that we simply put 2 minus in front of the formula and then press enter. So false became 0. Then I drag the formula. So we can see all the true value returns 1 and all the false value returns 0. Now we will count all the numbers with 1 and get the serial number. So here equal to if this cell is equal to 1 then count if bracket open this cell colon this cell and first D3 will be locked and then bracket close. It is our value if true and value if false 0. Bracket close enter. Sorry here. Here is count if. So here will be a criteria comma 1. Our criteria is 1. If we have 1 then it will count otherwise not. Then enter we got 0 because here is no 1. So now same. Here we got 1 and here if we count this two number then we got two here up to this we got one number and here we got two numbers in this way it will return a serial number if it is a number so we drag until end and got all the serials it is up to 63 now we will return the value from here with the help of this serial numbers so equal to index our array is this one we will take the value from this range so select all the designations then we have to log this range so press f4 comma row number 
row number will be dynamic so we have to use match function lookup value will be rows bracket open so this cell colon this cell that means e3 colon e3 and first e3 will be locked then bracket close our array will be comma our array will be this range because this range contain the serial number comma exact match 0 bracket close for match bracket close for index then press enter here we got assistant manager you can see here we have assistant manager this two are zero and this one is assistant manager we got assistant manager now drag till the end and we got all the designations containing sorry here is an error that means this range should be fixed so press f4 and then press enter and now drag it now it's okay now you've got all the designations and here are some error values to remove these error values we have to use if error formula so if error go to the end comma double quotation bracket close enter then we remove the error values so now with the help of these values we will create a range so now go to formula name manager new here i will type designation and here i will create a dynamic range so use offset bracket open this is our first reference comma we will not go down so zero we will not go to the right so zero and then height height will be our count if you count this text so here we will put count a sorry count if bracket open this cell sorry this in total this range then comma our criteria will be within double quotation star question mark quotation close bracket close comma one bracket close for offset okay now this range is selected you can see up to this so close now we will create a combo box so go to developer keep it in design mode go to insert and select this one this is combo box activex control so select this and draw a combo box now if we close the design mode we can see here is no list so first we have to link this combo box with this cell so first go to design mode select this one and click properties and here in properties we have to click the linked cell and which is our linked cell our linked cell is sorry this one d2 so here type d2 and press enter close this if we type here anything so close the design mode if you type man then you can see it is automatically changing the list are automatically changing m a n a g e r so in this way you can see that if we type here it is returning the value here so in d2 c h i e f it is the list is shortening when we are typing so now we are not getting any drop down list so to get this drop down list we have to use the reference dynamic reference so go to design mode again select this go to properties in here fill list range you type your dynamic range that is a designation designation enter now close this and now here you can see the list but 
as I type here, you can see it is not giving the drop down list. So, how to create so that it will give us the drop down? You can see again if I type ADM, we are not getting the drop down list automatically. So, to do this, you have to create a VBA code. So, go to design mode and then click on click on this combo box and click view code so we came here so here we will select the combo box one and here we will type a simple code combo box one dot drop down this is the simple code now close this go to design mode and now type here c h or so we are getting an autofill to remove this autofill again go to design mode select this combo box go to properties now here go a little down and here match entry here select fm match entry none then close this and close the design mode again select this and type ch now we are not getting the autofill i e f i in this way our drop down list is shortening in real time so this drop down is called a real time searchable drop down list i hope you understand this tutorial very well if you have any problem regarding this tutorial, you can write me in comment section. I will reply you. In the next tutorial, we will learn how to create searchable dependent drop down list. So, if you like our today's video, then please hit the like button. And if you want to watch our next video, there is multiple searchable dependent drop down list. Subscribe our channel to get the notification. And thanks for watching till the end. See you soon in the next tutorial.